Good evening and welcome to week three of Girls Night Out. Tonight we've got conference action, WBL and BBC highlights. But we start the show, however, with non-conference clash from Lima Senior. Spartans ride to two-game win streak, hosting the Wayne Trace Raiders over at Lima Gymnasium. Second quarter, Spartans down four when Amaya Coleman passes up to Anya James, who sends a touch pass to Maisie Strasser, who hits the jumper 18-16. Wayne Trace. Under 10 seconds to go in the half when Kathleen Stoller finds Harper Myers all alone and the junior buries it for three. 21-16 Raiders at the half. Third quarter, Wayne Trace picks up where they left off as Caroline Winans hits the smooth jumper. Lead extended to nine. Spartans trying to stop the bleeding though as Coleman with a nice floater in the lane that falls 25-18 Wayne Trace. But in the end, the hot shooting from the Raiders too much as Winans again from long range. They win 42-34. At Bath, Bath High School, the Wild Kittens look to stay undefeated and earn their second league win, hosting 3-2 and two Shawnee. Indians trail by five early in the first. Grace Freiberger looking to narrow the gap, driving in the hoop and floating it in. Shawnee down 9-6. to six. But they poke the sleeping Wild Kitten. Ann Oliver from downtown sinks it with a hand in her face. The senior completes the four-point play and had three triples in the first half. That propels Bath on a monster run capped off by Kelsey Carlson off the glass. That's 14 unanswered to put the Cats up 23 to six. Second, seconds remaining though before the buzzer, Carlson finds Izzy McDermott on the perimeter. She puts her team up 33 to 10 as time expires. Bath wins big 60-33. Sticking in the WBLs, the Bulldogs still searching for win number one hosting. The Kenton Wildcats, who are fresh off a 14-point victory over Riverdale. First quarter, Kenton up two, and Olivia Nolting finds a wide-open Kinsey Sprang, who buries the triple. Wildcats up five. Lady Dogs would go on a 6-0 run, however, thanks to this jumper by Lily Seifert, who also gets the lay-in to take the lead right back. Elida's offense clicking as Leah Ramirez goes to Alexis Ward, who then goes back door to Jordan Gladden for the easy two off glass to put Elida up six. And then Ramirez in the corner nails the three ball. That extends the lead to nine. But the Cats claw back with their defense as Olivia Nolting with the steal and then the bucket off the window. Kenton comes back with a 38-34 win. The Redskins take a trip to the Supreme Court to face the undefeated OG squad. Kicking things off, junior Caitlin Kimmett hits her defender with the hesitation on her way to the hoop for the two. Titans strike first. Following possession, Redskins moving in around the perimeter until Courtney Fullenkamp locks on her target and connects from deep. Redskins up one. Off the inbounds, Redskins are going to catch the Titans napping as Kiara Seifring throws a dart to Elizabeth Good for the lay-in. Redskins leading 5-4. to four. Titans trailing by one. Carson Erfer gets the rebound and muscles it back in for the and one. Titans back up by two. Under five to go in the quarter. Erford leaks out and finishes on the other end as OG wins this one 52-36 over Wapakoneta. Three and one Marion Local glides into the showdown against the four and one Minster Lady Cats. We'll start off in the first. Ava Unrass dribbles around her defender. The shooter bounce works out in her favor. Marion Local up 9-5. The Flyers are feeling the pressure as they move the rock around. Here's Allison Dirks in in the paint and the senior gets the lay-in. Flyers go up 13-5. To the second, Marion Local is going to add on more. Nora Eckstein decides to spot up for three, and the triple try is good. Road team leading by 10. Minster trying to come back, though. Addie Inski feeds it to Lydia Mesher. Wildcats still trailing by double digits, though. And Marion Local will pull away. Unrass with the ball. She gets it to fall. Flyers win this one 46-34. Continuing with the Maction, the new Bremen Lady Cards are trying to get over 500, while the Versailles Tigers are attempting to build off their 2-1 record. Picking things up in the third, Katie Litton pulls up inside the arc, and the sophomore splashes in the J. Versailles taking the 26-12 lead. Now Chloe Hellman fights her way to the rebound and finds her teammate Marina Nelson, and the sophomore decides to hang a three on the board. New Bremen pulling within 11. The Lady Tigers have ranged two. Sarah Stammen flips it to Litton, and Litton hits nothing but net. Road team leads 29-15. New Bremen trying to close the gap, though. This time, it's Michaela Ferks letting it fly. Home team now trailing 29-18, but for sales would pull away. Jenna Dirksen gets the bucket and the foul. Lady Tigers win 46-35. In Auglaize County, two teams are eyeing their first win of the season as New Knoxville welcomes in St. John's to the barn. Starting off in the first quarter, Megan Kerner takes it herself for the layup. St. John's scores first. They lead 2-0. To the second, the Jays trailing by six, but Kerner is at it again. The freshman gets a steal and the bucket. St. John's now down by four, but New Knoxville is relentless tonight. Here's Addison Elbers bearing the long two. Lady Rangers now lead 15-9, and they're not done yet. 
Kiana Wellman hangs a three on the board. New Knoxville wins 47-42. Staying in Putnam County, the 2-4 and four Lady Falcons visit the launch pad to take on the PG Rockets. First quarter, Marissa Bonham gets the board and hands it off to Harley Gonzalez, and she does the rest. Falcons up early. A few plays later, Rockets moving the ball around the horn. Leading to Savannah, Newvin three, Rockets up one. The Rockets come right back, though, as Newvin hits another tray from the opposite side. Rockets lead extended to four. But, but Mariah Bonham this time goes to work in the post, and Gets this one to fall. Falcons trail by two. 11-8 Rockets then. And Maddie Rutschilling takes the challenge and walks her defender to the paint and kisses it off the glass as the PG Rockets get their first win on the season, winning tonight 47-43 over Riverdale.